Hi guys and welcome to another hike. We are in, it's actually a pretty nice day today. So we're in the village of Jiangbian Chen. Um, we're going to walk up behind us. We're going to look around the village first of all and then we're going to walk up behind us up through the valley up there um, to a part of the wall. It's windy! Okay, today is as windy AF. Alright, stay tuned until the very end and I'll give you a bonus location where you can go and hike which is very near this one. It's just... We're just going to go in the village here. Sorry? This is the old wall bit of the village so we're going to walk in here I'm and walk around have a look but it's so windy so thank goodness we're out the wind for a bit. Anyway, we can go up on the old wall. This guy's buying nuts. Oh. You've got to break yourself. Are you getting nuts? I just feel like a nice thing to do here. Yeah. Oh, Very good. Um. Don't you, Jen? Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it's just support them. Right, you can go up on the wall that way if you want to have a little look. Okay. The guest house. So you can follow this around all the way up there, then it goes up on the top of the hill. Not on the very top, but on the ridge, and it surrounds the village. Right, the guest house you can stay in is the one just there uh, you can see on the top. So we'll just walk up there and then we'll walk up on top of the top of this hill and go up to the Great Wall. Very quiet here today, so we're just gonna explore the village. People. There's some shops here. So cold, my hands are totally freezing. Someone's wood store. So if we go up the back bit, you can see some of the really old houses. I like the ones with the grass on the roofs. A little show on. There's a little place for plays. Look at that, it's a school. Temple, I think it's Temple, I remember this from last time. I believe so, or maybe it was a school. Yeah, temple. Look at these here. Look at these. Yeah, it'd be great to buy something like that to renovate and have a weekend home. So this is the place where we stayed before. Um, you can rent it out. Obviously it's locked at the moment, but it's a really nice place to stay for the weekend. You can get like loads of people in there. It's quite a big area. 
And then of course in the summer when it's not freezing, it's really nice. And then you can hike up this bit. You can hike up this bit and go around the wall from the village. Or you can go where we're going to go, which is down the path. And we're going to go up another very, very old trail up to the wall. So hopefully it'll be a bit sheltered. Well, I'm very glad I brought my long trousers with me. It's blowing a gale and the wind's super cold. So um, I wish I'd brought something for my ears. Right, and just my hat that keeps blowing off. Hey? Where's the public toilet? Don't know. I guess there are some. <clears throat> Don't know if this is uh, someone's house or religious site. Looks like someone's house. Maybe it's just a front gate. Yeah. I think so. Oh, look at that. It's a tiny little, tiny little house. Can we can look in. That needs a little bit of decoration on the walls and maybe a carpet and yeah, nice holiday home. <clears throat> right, just trying to find the toilet. Oh, if you could smell it, it's just a hole. Oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This side even worse, is it? Right, let's have a look at this side. Right. Actually makes it feel a bit queasy, actually makes it feel, feel like being sick. I, I, would, I would have a, a bucket in the corner. Yeah, it's just a composting toilet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not just have a composting you toilet? Own, okay, if you want to find the head of the trail, there's Jamie and Chen behind me. You just walk up the hill, up this little rise, and when you get to this car park area with these buildings, you take a left. And you start following the trail. And then there's a few left and rights, which I'll show you on the way. And you keep going up. I'm going to stay in there, right? Hello. Hello. Where's the Puran? Let's give it a walk. The Puran, wow. Huh? The translation up on the go. We want to walk up here. Okay. Set fire to it, run suddenly. <laughs> okay. We just double back and cut through. Oh, don't, 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 don't translate that. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Don't worry, we'll find another one. Okay, it is April. It's April and everywhere like this is closed because they think um, you're going to make a fire. So you can go to the Western Hills <coughs> behind the Jesus Temple and watch your house content. Yeah, many oh, places you can go. Yeah, it's weird. So for the month of what? May? April? What is it? April, right? So for the month of April, for some reason, well, fire, the villagers get paid. I think they only get paid if there's no fire. They get paid to stop people going on the hills in case they either cause a fire or get damaged by the fire. Do that way. I guess he's still watching us, so maybe not. All right, we've just doubled back from him and uh, just come off the road just here. And we're going to try and just go bush just to get around him, just so he doesn't get upset. Here we go. I think they're hidden from the guy from the trees a bit, so. We're in some signal, radio signal mast with wires everywhere. Try not to get electrocuted.
we're in full view of him, so it's kind of obvious what we're doing. If he's bothered to look out the window from there, maybe he'll call the police. So effectively, what I was saying, you walk up the road to that white hut when it's not fire season for the month of uh, uh, April. <clears throat> I think May 1st they stop it, and you just basically head for that path. We walk up that valley on the right. Okay, so we're just kind of following our noses, trying to make it over this ridge to get back to the main track, because at some point we need to turn right. There's a little trail here. I'm far enough away from that guy. I think he might just not bother us. That's where we want to head, over there. I think we need to take that track up there. It's about, about four years since I've done this walk, so I'm trying to remember where the turn is. Oh. Hopefully, remember it when I see it. I think we go up on the first right. Let's just go and have a look. Yeah. No. Unfortunately. It don't mean nothing to me. I think this is the one, because we're going to go up that valley. You got any memories? A few. A few memories are slowly. And like you can walk around this. This hill walks around to the village. It really is a magnificent view, isn't it? It would be nice if it was all green and lovely mm. and no we'll fire wounds. Yeah. A few more months. A few more months, a bit more rain. It'd be nice. Okay, so off that right turn, basically you just stay on this track and keep walking. There's no, there's no turn for a while. So yeah, keep walking. There's a zigzaggy path here, but it's still the same track. There's no fire I do remember this bit, and there's no fire wardens so far. That's not, not to say up. there won't be one further up. Or maybe they'll send a drone up to track us. Yeah, I've been known to be done. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time we've been tracked by drone? Nope. <coughs> okay, so this is where the main track thins down into a bit more of a path, but it's still straight, just keep going. There was a farmer in that tuk-tuk in the field, so we were just stealthy walking by him, quietly, Stealth stoically. Huh? Stealth move, stoically walking by without looking at him. Yeah, look away. Don't even look at me. All right, we're starting to climb a little bit. Heading up into the moor. Wilderness areas. In the summer, it looks so different, as you can imagine. Oh, so it's still the same path, heading up, up and away. You want to sing us a song, up, up and away? <laughs> Take it away. Up, up and away, my beautiful balloon. Woo! That's Hello. cold, eh? Right? <laughs> oh, a little wind tunnel. All right, we're just walking through, literally in the middle of nowhere, and there's a big bunch of discarded fireworks. So. People have obviously brought this up in some tuk-tuk or carried it, used it, used it and then just left the stuff here. It's nice. 
remember when you're out in the wilderness leave no trace take your stuff home with you yes it's going to go in landfall somewhere but better not to leave it there in the uh, middle of this beautiful surroundings dispose of your rubbish properly thank you public service announcement over all right first view of the wall just on top here however we've got quite a lot of way to walk we are still on the same track coming to the end of this path soon go to a single track path which I've got a feeling it's going to start any moment now alright there's been a new path cut into the hill since I last arrived the old path is this one this one here and it goes up there up to the wall but we're gonna go this way oh wow, it's cold wind we're gonna go this way see where it leads okay the wall you can just see through the trees yeah I think we walked up to that tower on the ridge So it's quite a climb up to there. It's fun. Yeah. The three meter selfie stick. <laughs> so we're almost at the wall. Just this last steep little bit. Alright, when I get to the top, put some clothes on. The uh, wind's cold. This is a shelter. Where's the wind coming? Again, very, very hard to walk on. If we head down, it's giving me a headache. Sorry? It's giving me an ice cream headache, it's so cold. Yeah, I don't really forget. You haven't really got any protection in your head, have you? Not really, not a lot. It's a bit hard for you. It's a bit cold. Alright, if anyone can translate Chinese, please feel free to do so. Pause the video and translate, please leave it in the comments below what it's talking about. Well, it must always be windy here because there's a wind farm over there. Okay, so now we're going to head down and go back to the car and we're going to head to the bonus location which is actually a really nice circular walk at the end of this mountain range and uh, last time I was here, again maybe four, four, maybe five years ago, wow, a long time ago the, um, <clears throat> we had a very nice walk with some friends so we're going to head there and, uh, and I'll show you what it's like when we get there Okay guys, now I'm out the wind I can talk. So, at the top, you can turn left or right, or even go straight, and there's plenty of kind of out and back walks you can do, or you can explore and do a circular walk. But it's, um, it's a very easy place to get to, and actually once you know it, it's okay. So, you can walk up, when it's not blowing a hoolie and freezing cold, you can walk up there, have a nice picnic on the top, and then walk back. Enjoyed it. Well, I need to nice make your own from overseas and bring all the spice. Oh, is that right? It's just convenient, yeah, just the locality. Sure. Okay, we are almost back at the guard. Where well, we met him down the bottom. Um, so we've got to be a little bit sneaky. 
we're going to go and sneak back the way we came, hopefully without getting caught. One day your video will be used in evidence in court against you. This will be not in China. <laughs> right, we're back where the guard is. And we're sneaking back without getting caught. Yeah, we can just go down and ride, right? All right, we can just follow the terraces around, can't we? Yep. <laughs> okay, we find the path again. Great news. Right, we're going to head back to the village of Jiang Bian Chen, where we started and we're going to head to another hiking area very near here. Jiang Bian Chen is a really, really pretty ancient old walled village. Um, you can stay there in guest houses with Kung beds. You can have a bed with a fire underneath to keep you warm at night. It's pretty cool. I see the guy's heart. Hello. Slippy. Slippy, huh? It's like walking on marbles. Eating. What are you eating? Hmm? This is where it literally gets cut off by the road. Wall.
We found uh, just following noise, music. Yeah. Village. It looks like that's completely inaccessible, isn't it? It's not made it accessible at all. The Great Wall here. No. Got that shit on that wall. Is it some kind of tariff? Courtyard house in the village. Look at this 21 year old Swedish repair. Around the next bend, I think. So that's the road there on the road. Oh. Ah. That's the way to go. Yeah. What does that mean? Day dying pan great wall. Dying pan. Yeah. Huh? Hey. I think it's okay, eh? Who can it? Yeah, we're out there. Fire. Right, the uh the bonus area is this. Dying, dying pan, Great Wall of Ming Dynasty area, but it's bloody fire season again. Fire season, we cannot get in. We are denied access. We'll come back in a month, maybe. Two months. Two months. Six weeks. Six and a half weeks. Six and a half weeks. Very good name for a film, isn't it? Six and a half weeks. Yeah, go down this side and go up right and then come back. Which means, yes, it would be a good okay, name for a film, Richard. Yeah. You're a very funny guy. Fire! I'll teach you to burn. Okay, you're just going to have to take my word for it. It's a nice view spot. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. We are going to call it a day there. We're going to call it Sunday. That was a lovely Sunday hike. Um, so we'll be back, hopefully, not next week, because I've got a course, but we'll be back in a couple of weeks with a few more hikes. So if you like this kind of content, I am posting videos every week. So every week we are going somewhere, hiking, traveling, on the trains, on the fast trains, looking at things, hiking, going to eat somewhere, some interesting Chinese food out and about around Beijing area. If you like it, guys, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification. See you next time.